sewerage and waterboard work crews were hard at work this morning making repairs. But the sewerage and waterboard director, Cedric Grant, is under fire for the amount of overtime and standby pay some of those workers received back in 2013. This came after New Orleans Inspector General Ed Quattrovo released a report showing that almost $10.9 million of the sewerage and water board's $47 million payroll that year went to cover overtime and standby pay. We've agreed with his findings and proposed corrective actions and to, to uh, implement changes needed to, to better manage that. Under the system, employees receive one hour of pay for every eight hours they wait to be called in. Grant says the system is used by many waterboard companies across the country as an effort to increase your workforce as needed. There are many emergencies that occur in, in, in this business that you, they're unanticipated. There may be a water main break or something that requires people to be out immediately. The audit found that 330 employees were paid to be on call in 2013 and that 32 of them never received overtime. In one case, an employee was paid $20,492 in standby pay, but was never called to duty and made no overtime that year. Grant says after accepting the IG's findings, they have begun to put plans in place to limit abuse of the payroll system. One is the accountability of the individual line managers to make sure that the people have performed the work. Two is that at the, man, the senior management level, we on a weekly basis look at overtime and, and work through problems that we see. And Grant says there are restraints by the EPA consent decree for sewerage that forces them to keep some crews on standby. If we have a sewer overflow, we have four hours to go out and begin to initiate a repair. Okay? If not, we'll find $10,000 a day. So somebody has to go, has to inspect the work, has to begin to start th those improvements. That could happen any time of the day or night. He says he plans to ask the Civil Service Commission for another waiver of its rules to allow on-call pay to continue to provide continuous service in the face of a manpower shortage. Something that allows a bit more than eight hours a week of overtime that was originally written in the 70s and we think that now we need to be a little bit more uh, liberal until we grow the workforce.